Hello everyone, my name is uh, Johan uh, Grunewald and um, welcome to this edition of Tiburon TV. I would like to spend a, a few minutes uh, today just talking to you about a, a very exciting new feature within Atrium um, CMDB 7.5 and this is all uh, relating to the goal really where we would like to automate as much as possible within the, uh, the CMDB um, this feature uh, in particular will be of quite uh, use to change managers. Now, uh, as you all know, um, traditionally speaking, the role of a change manager, or one of the roles really, is to make sure that when he receives a request for change, that he is able to quickly and quite accurately uh, identify what is the uh, ultimate impact of this change on the uh, business service that sits on top of the uh, physical network infrastructure. Now, some of you may already be familiar with a product called the BMC uh, Service Impact Manager. And this tool really um, is very uh, useful towards achieving that goal of automation where you can create your service models and actually map events of the network uh, onto this tool. And thereby, whenever a, an event occurs on the network, you can almost in real time see what is the impact of your um, underlying business service. Now, what BMC have done for us in 7.5 is they have taken a part of this component and they've moved it into the CMDB and it's uh, called the uh, Atrium Impact Simulator. Now, as the name suggests, uh, it's a simulator that can facilitate the process of um, taking um, a proposed change and then have a look at what is the simulated impact on your business service. Now, within the context of doing that, um, we are moving that one step closer towards um, making use of the CMDB in a more intuitive way. Um, for those of you who have implemented CMDBs before, um, you will know that a lot of work goes into mapping the physical uh, within the network, uh, thereby arriving at a uh, topological uh, infrastructure. But really for change managers, they are still very much struggling to uh, interact with the CMDB uh, insofar as to determine what is the ultimate impact. Now with the uh, Atrium Impact Simulator, um, you can go and find the CI either through the traditional CI viewer or you can make use of the, um, the GUI provided by the Atrium Impact Simulator. You select your CI, uh, you can simulate uh, a, a nature of an event uh, for example, it can be a very minor impact, so it still offers a service, but it's not completely uh, unavailable. Or you can go to the other extreme, which is to uh, effectively take the CI out of the picture by making it unavailable, and thereby simulating a complete outage. Now, what the product will do effectively is um, uh, propagate that change up the tree, uh, which basically means it, it finds its way up the path of the physical structure and then uh, finds its way into the hierarchy of the underlying uh, business uh, service that should be modeled on top of your um, physical topology. And this will allow a change manager to very quickly now uh, have a look at what is the proposed impact. And um, the tool is quite uh, useful in the sense that you can also save your simulations um, thereby you can experiment with different kinds of um, impacts to the network, uh, determine what is the nature of the uh, effective uh, services, uh, and you can compare these models. And um, you, you also have the ability to go so far as to uh, assign uh, weights, if you'd like, to your business services, so that if, for example, you have uh, an email service, um, or uh, maybe a completely different service being impacted at the very same time, based on the weights, you can determine very quickly which one should be uh, actioned uh, first so that you can bring that service up and running as quickly as possible. Another interesting feature is that as soon as you have arrived at a simulation that you're happy with, uh, you can also go about creating an incident related to this uh, service uh, simulation uh, so that you can put into motion the, uh, the tasks that may be required to uh, facilitate this uh, change that w you will, um, as a change manager, ultimately approve. So uh, definitely this is uh, quite an exciting uh, feature for us here at Tiburon, and it is just moving us that one step closer uh, towards automating a lot of the impacts that one would like to get out of a CMDB. 
So if you uh, are interested in this feature or just would like to uh, know more about what CMDB can do for your organization, uh, please do get in contact with us and we will be more than happy to assist in um, your uh, search for how this product can better uh, suit your organizational needs. Thank you.